Hi there everyone and welcome to Channel Fish. In this video I'll explain to you how to calculate a bearing on a map. There are three steps that you need to follow and if you stick to those three steps then you can't go wrong. Um, before we get to the bearing itself, um, I'm going to put the compass on the screen just very quickly. When we calculate a bearing we always start at north. North is zero degrees. Then we go to east East is exactly 90 degrees and it makes perfect sense because all of us can see that it's 90 degrees. Then we go down to south which is 180 degrees and west would be 270 degrees and when you go all the way, all the way around to north um, it will be 360 degrees. Now I'm using a map of Thailand and your teacher might ask you to calculate the bearing between a place, let's say this is point A and your teacher wants you to calculate the bearing between point A and point B which is right here on Koh Samui. So your first step would be to draw a perpendicular line on point A. That is very important. Try and get it as accurate as you can. You draw your line straight up and then you want to um, connect point A with point B that is your second step but always extend this line and you'll see why I'm extending this line like this you'll see in a moment okay that was your second step there is point B okay so we know where point A is we, ne we know where point B is and um, now we need to place the protractor in the correct position. You'll see on your protractor that there's a line, a vertical line running from there to there. That is if you hold your protractor like this. And then there's another line going in that direction. But where these two lines meet exactly at this point is where you're going to put your protractor on point A. This is very important. My students get it wrong. They sometimes put their protractor like this. Okay, so please make sure that you put your protractor in the correct position. Okay, now as you can see there is north. This is where you start, this is north and you always go in a clockwise direction. So now we go from north this way around and we'll see that it's 41, 42, 43 degrees. So can you see why I have extended this line is because point B is right there. It would have been quite difficult to measure the bearing between point A and point B if I didn't extend that line. So let's do a different example. I'm going to zoom in on a different part of the map. Now we are going to calculate the bearing from point B to point C which is right here at Lang Suan. Here is point C. Okay now remember those steps. There are about three steps. First step is to draw your perpendicular line on point B. This is your starting point. You always draw the perpendicular line on your starting point, which in this case is point B. Okay. Second step is to draw a line from point B to point C. Now it's very important to place your protractor in the right position. That is step number three. And now we are going to start at north, which is right here, north, and we are going to go clockwise. And then you'll find that obviously you can't measure any further than that. Then make a mark there at 180 degrees. Then you, you turn your protractor around. And then once again you start here. But now you start at north again. Because you are going to add 180 plus whatever you measure over here. So you will see that it is exactly 112 degrees. So now you are going to say 180 plus 112 degrees. So the um, bearing between those two points is 292 degrees. Now I'm sure many of you have already figured out that there is another way of doing this and I'm going to show this to you right now. You can always put your protractor like this and go in an anti-clockwise direction. Just bear in mind there's um, 360 degrees in a circle 
So you can measure this angle over here. And now once again you start at naught and then you go and you'll see that it's 60, it's 68 degrees. And then obviously you take 360 minus 68. Eight, which would give you a total of 292 degrees exactly the same as when we went in a clockwise direction please make sure to place your protractor in exactly the right position you want to make sure that your answer is as accurate as it can possibly be thank you once again for tuning in and remember to subscribe see you next time